How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. And Oculus is recalling about 4.2 million units for the sole reason of these face pads. The stock face pad has caused a lot of people issues and irritations and rashes with their face when using it. It's not everyone, but there is a good portion of people. And the numbers, of course, are here on the screen, including about 45 people that required medical attention, at least according to the CPSC. And after reading both the Canadian government recall notice page, alongside the official Oculus Quest page, what they are suggesting is that if you're encountering any issues that you should stop using the facepad immediately and log into the Oculus website and request a free silicone cover. So I kind of upscale the photo that they have on the website and that's about what it should look like. And if you were to imagine in real life, it will look a little something like this. So what I have right here is a cheap silicone cover that is meant for the stock pad and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty clean, pretty decent. You can easily wipe the sweat off and clean it up and this is just all it is, is just a cover, which is what we have here. You can get this off AliExpress for about two bucks and uh, it's decent, but it can get annoying sometimes when putting on and off the headset as it will shift around every now and then. Now for actually obtaining one of these things is pretty simple. Log into the Oculus page, go to your profile, click on devices, and there you'll see your Oculus Quest 2 registered. You'll have your ID and a button to request one of these silicon covers. And once you click that, you'll see that they're offering it for both the stock pad as well as for those who ordered the fit pack add-on which essentially has two facial interfaces of wide and narrow sizes. That being said, I kind of clicked on that, and after hitting submit, it seems like they're actually going to be sending me two different packages. One is for the stock pad, and the other is for the active fit pack. And of course, there's a wide list of countries that can actually redeem this, so not every country can get their hands on the face pad replacement. So yeah, if you're in the greenlit countries, go ahead and redeem yourself one of these free silicone pads. So now let's go ahead and have some real talk. How much longer are us the users going to be dealing with this? We got broken straps, we got face pads that give you itching, we got these dingy little straps that are included with the Quest by default, which are just absolutely horrible. Let's not forget the Quest 1, it had an amazing strap in my opinion, it was actually pretty great, and it was miles better than this thing right here. I mean all these terrible designs have brought out this entire new market to upgrade your Quest 2, because everything that it comes with by default, even if you upgrade, which includes the Elite strap, one way or another, it's going to have some problems. Like we are still seeing people with elite straps that are breaking. And now with the face pads, so many people are encountering it that they are having to send you some cheap silicone cover. Now, although I don't personally have issues with the actual face pad, since I never used it and never found it to be comfortable, I do have a big problem with the mechanism. As I'm constantly swapping out face pads and reviewing different straps, this little portion here is absolutely gone. It never clips in properly and it's always falling out. It happens with every different face pad that I've used. And on top of that, the stock face pad itself has also broken apart, so not great. We got so many different upgrades now, so many different solutions that are just brought along this entire new market with all these different straps and upgrades that you could go for. You got Bobo and Bestwin making all these different accessories when Oculus themselves couldn't have been getting all that money and making proper products because they know their products best, but no, they're going to leave it for all these other companies to make their stuff better. The Quest 1 was honestly, in my opinion, a home run. It was a fantastic headset. The only thing I could say probably was the performance and the controls were kind of too small, but it was still a great headset nonetheless. That said, the Quest 2 came out, I got it, I was super hyped, I got all the upgrades and it was still not perfect. I even got an upgrade padding for the Deluxe Audio Strap because it wasn't that great. And once I turned it on and started using it, I was facing issues with the track as it was not getting the right floor level when I'm trying to calibrate it. I would calibrate the floor and when I get up, the floor level comes up with me, which was super annoying and I had to reset my headset several times. Complete reset, go through the entire setup process and it was super annoying. So you're probably asking why don't they fix it? Why don't they release some new products? But if we have to guess, they're probably saving all that tech for the Oculus Quest 3 so you can go out and buy yet another headset. Yes, it's a cheap headset with tons of tech, it's an amazing headset, but all these little tiny things affect the brand and everything that it stands for. Like, why do we have all these different accessories when they could have made it themselves? But the sad truth is that they already made the Elite Strap and those things were constantly breaking and they are still breaking to this day. So anyways, that is all for this video. I don't know what's the point of this portion. Let me know what you think. Stick around for the next video where I'll be checking out this little awesome accessory from Bobo VR. Again, prototype. We'll see how it is. Uh, pretty exciting. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bro.